Stress spending is not sustainable, but here we are. Welcome back to another Lululemon haul. It is Tash Anna Siri, and today I'm gonna be taking a little bit of a different approach with my Lululemon haul. For each of the items, I'm gonna be going into the size, the fit, the material, what I liked and what I didn't like, as well as just random things to note. I will be starting with shorts, going into leggings, and then I'm gonna do tank top and long sleeves, and then finish it off. Don't forget to stay till the end because I will be talking about some things that were in the We Made Too Much section. Also, as always, everything will be linked in the description bar below. Let's get right into it. So I'm gonna start off with the Swift Speed High Rise Shorts. So this is what they look like. I got them in black because black is very safe. I don't know. I find that I reach for my black biker shorts the most and I just wanted to get another pair. So with these ones, I think they're actually new. I saw the Swift Speed high rise shorts come out as well as the base pace biker shorts and I was deciding between the two. But I really do like the Swift Speed high rise because it really hugs you in as opposed to the base pace. It's a little bit less hugged and more of a free feeling. It's like the fast and free leggings. Like that's the same material. I have the base pace leggings. And I really like those, but I thought I would switch it up. So the fit of these are very compressive, a little bit hard to get over your hips. I think I, my usual size has changed recently. So I'm a size two. And when I put these on, I have to be careful not to pull too hard. Otherwise you can like rip them, I guess. I was talking to the Lululemon employees and they said that if I sized up to a four, it would be too big. And the point of these are to be compressive anyways. So if you guys don't like that, then maybe size up, but they're meant to be hugged. They are made of the Luxstream fabric. So I'm sure you guys know what the Luxstream feels like, but it does tend to hug you in more. There's that four-way stretch it is sweat wicking super breathable it feels like cool to the touch there is a lot of like shape retention so if you guys like that you would probably really like these shorts it's great for running it's made for running there is a little pocket at the back here like a zippered pocket which is really nice also these shorts are not as expensive as some of the other biker shorts but I think it's really good value because it has that zipper pocket it has the two pockets on the side. It's really great. It seems very durable and just overall super comfortable. It has the drawstring as well, which is amazing. And then just some reflective detailing on the side. So just the dots there that I'm sure you guys can see. And on the other side as well. And then you also have the Lululemon logo here. It looks a little bit different than it usually does. It's like more of a muted Lululemon logo, but I actually prefer it. I think it looks a lot more more sleek and very refined. I know some people didn't like that it was a darker logo and they prefer like the reflective silver one, but I really do like this one. In terms of likes and dislikes, I really do like the hug sensation. And then the only thing I dislike about it is that it is a little bit hard to get over your hips, but if that's usually not an issue for you, it should be fine. And that definitely wouldn't stop me from getting them. They're amazing. I'm trying to get them out your brain for now cause I wondered if you spent the winter all alone but I'm not So next we have the power through high rise cropped leggings I ended up picking up these leggings because I needed a pair of black leggings. I don't really have a solid pair. And also I've been going to the gym a lot more and these are made for the gym. So they're supposed to be a really tough fabric. The size that I got, I got a size two. The two fits really snug. So it's supposed to hug you in. And I was talking to the employees again and asking them if it was too small because I'm so used to wearing a four. But he said that it fit really well and it, you can tell that if it's too small if the pockets are kind of looking like they're getting stretched out when you put them on but that didn't happen when I tried these on so they were the right size so the material of these are the lycra fiber they add the lycra fiber for the stretch and retention it just lists that the fabric is abrasion resistant fabric so again these are made for the gym they're supposed to be really tough against lifting and 
that was what I needed it for. So that was good. In terms of what I like and what I don't like, I really like the way that it feels. Like it really does hug you in and it makes you look very tight everywhere and it's very flattering. The only thing that I don't like is that with these, I got the 23 inches because I'm really short. I'm 5'1", you guys already know, but I got 23 inches and it is the, it's a good length, don't get me wrong, but the shorter you go, the higher up the calf it's supposed to be because it's not supposed to be at the ankle, obviously. Other people are taller than I am. So when I put these on, the ends of it will kind of flare out a little bit, which I find unfortunate, but I still really love them and I didn't want to get the 25 in these. So you guys will probably see it in the cutaway. It's a little bit loose at the ends. Other than that, I really like them. Things to note though is that some of the reviews say that the pockets stretch out a lot and like don't look flattering after a little bit of wearing them I would just be mindful of that I'll let you guys know if that happens to me but that's never happened so far and I've worn it a couple times to the gym already so I think it should be okay I really doubt that it will happen. But yeah, other than that, the back of the waistband, as you guys can see, goes a little bit higher. It looks nice. Yeah, I like these a lot. I'm trying to get them out your brain for now cause I wondered if you spent the winter all alone but I'm not one of your exes check my message in your phone Next up, we have the Align Tank. You guys saw it in my last video. I had the white one and the green one. This time, I just picked up a black one. Black's kind of a theme in this video. Sorry guys, everything is black. I just felt that it was no longer summer, so I didn't need color in my life. This is the Align Top. I got it in a size four. I am a size four in Align Tops because if I size up to a six, then the bottom fit kind of gapes out as I told you guys earlier and this fits really well I like the black it's a lot safer than the white and the green because I feel like I'm less likely to stain this which is nice I'm not gonna talk too much about it because you guys obviously know about the align top everyone has the align top everyone and their grandma but it is the Nulu fabric it's very comfortable it's nice to wear under sweaters or with a pair of jeans and just like as a casual going out top or an everyday top, it's really nice. I really do like it. I think the only thing with the Align top, I guess I did already talk to you guys about, but the cleavage area is a little bit low. And also the built-in bra is kind of small. So sometimes if I like try to pull it up, the band also goes up a bit, but I don't really mind. It's definitely worth it anyways. It's so comfortable. So I'm still gonna keep it. Next, I have the Power Through tank top. This is the top that goes with my Power Through leggings. So it's supposed to be very durable. It's also made for the gym. This one is just in the black. It's really stretchy. So when I got these, I was surprised because I thought that it was going to be thicker, but it's a really thin material. I actually really love it. It goes really well with any sports bras that have a Y back, just because the back is like that. And it also goes up higher in the back here and lower in the front, which is very flattering. With the power through leggings, as you guys could see, the back goes up higher. So these really do complement those leggings. It is supposed to be abrasion resistant, again, because it's made for the gym. And in terms of sizing, I actually went with a size two in this because they are really stretchy. So I wanted something that was even tighter than the four was. And it fits really well. I'll show you guys the try on as well, but it's really nice. I like this a lot. This has been my go-to gym shirt for a couple weeks now. I love it. Yeah, and I do really like the, they have like little reflective dots here that match the leggings, so that's really nice too. Nothing really to note, nothing I dislike about it yet, but I'll definitely keep you guys updated. We can keep a secret, babe, I'm good at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know those guys left you bleeding on the pavement. 
So next I have the Swiftly Tech long sleeve in the race length. I thought I would try it out because I don't have any long sleeve shirts to work out in and it's getting really cold out lately. So I picked it up in black. This is what it looks like. Really comfortable. I love how it sits on my neck. It's not restrictive at all. I find that sometimes workout shirts can be a little bit tight and uncomfortable. This one's not like that at all. The material is very soft and it seems very durable. However, I am a little bit scared to lift weights around it, but it's meant to be a running shirt anyways. I have a really small torso, so the length is really nice. I got this in a size four. At first I got it in a six, but it was way too big. Like around the midsection, it was super baggy and the arms were a little bit tighter. So I didn't want to size down because I was scared the arms were going to be really tight. But I ended up trying it on in stores in a four and I exchanged it. The arms weren't super tight at all. Not like I thought they would be. So this one's nice. It hits better on the waist and it's not as baggy as the six was. So I would go with your normal size. I'm a size four usually in tops and then a size two in bottom. So I would just stick with your normal size. The reviews do say that the arm is really restrictive. I was talking to an employee and they didn't add any compressive material to the arm. It's just like that because of the material that it's made of. It is the anti-stink material. So I think just them putting some of that material in there, whatever material they put in it to make it anti-stink, makes it a little bit tighter on the arm. It's comfortable for me, I like it. It's definitely gonna be good for going on runs outside when it's a little bit more chilly out. Next up, I have the Key to Balance tank top. I got it in the camo. I actually got it in two colors, the black dark camo, and I also got it in the color chambray. I love chambray, I think it's such a beautiful color. This is the only colored item that I got for this haul, everything else is black. Sorry about that if you guys like color, but there's some color here, so. That's good, at least. I picked up these tops because I don't have any workout tops other than the ones that I bought in this haul, but these looked like a good option for me because they have that built-in bra with padding that you can take out or keep in. It's really nice if you're going to the gym just to like lift or whatever, and you're not doing cardio so you don't need anything super supportive. This is nice because it's very comfortable. In terms of size, I ended up going with the size four. So I would just recommend going with the same size as your Align tanks because it fits the same and the material is the same. So it's the Nulu fabric again and it's just like a Align top with more coverage. So this is almost perfect. And the back has a crossed back, which is nice and flattering and it hugs your body tight. So that's nice too. I like this camo one because the Reflective detail is subtle again. I like the subtle Lululemon logos. I don't really like when it's like silver and reflective, but this one's really nice. And then the chambray version is also such a nice blue. I love this color. I'm really excited to wear this more. This one I also got in a four, obviously. I really like those shirts. It is designed for yoga, but you can wear it to lounge in, or if you're not doing anything vigorous, you can also wear it as well. I usually just wear it to lounge, or if I'm going to the gym and just lifting. As long as you don't rub any material, any like objects against it, you won't damage it or get any pilling or anything like that that happens with the Nulu fabric. Anyway, yeah, these two are, I think they're on the We Made Too Much as well as some of the other tanks might be on there as well. So definitely check it out. It's such a steal for the We Made Too Much pricing. I would definitely recommend it. And this is super comfortable. I was a little bit worried about this seam that goes across the, like, here. I thought it would look kind of funny, but you can't see it with the black or the darker colors and it doesn't look that weird with the blue, but you guys will see it in the try on. So. so why don't we try just to heal it for the evening? Babe, I know you know my name and the spirits in us feel the same about tonight. That's everything for my mini Lululemon haul. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And let me know if there's any content you want to see or if there was anything you picked up from Lululemon that's new or on the We Made Too Much section. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. See you next time. Message in your phone. I'm not trying to be friends with your dial
I just want you to pull up into my crib 